No, you were in at the beginning of the Théâtre du Nouveau Monde. Uh, you and Jean Gascon? Yeah. What do you do to found a theatre? Oh boy. First, uh, I, I, I spent more than four years in France and Jean was there at the same time as I was and he was in Paris at the same, t same time I was in Paris. Later he moved to Rennes because he was part of the company there and we used at least to have a regular Sunday breakfast together. And what were we discussing about? Theatre, of course. And we were discussing about the possibility of creating our own company. I came back to Montreal the first and I, I founded a company called Le Théâtre d'Essai de Montréal. And I produced two uh, plays there. One of my own called La Tulipe, another one by uh, Éloi de Grandmont called Un Fils à Tuer. And then Jean came back. And we started when we, uh, where we left when we were in Paris, we started discussing about creating a company. And mind you, there was practically nothing at that time in Montreal, in the early 50s. There were uh, productions here and there, but there, there was not a real company. The first company that was founded was uh, Le Théâtre du Rideau Vert in 49. But that was it. So the, 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 the field was opened. It was at the same time easier and tougher for us. Easier because everything was possible. So we met with other friends like Guy Hoffman, Georges Groux, uh, Eloi de Grandmont, Robert Gadois, etc. etc. We, were, we were, I think, 11 all together. And not only theatre people, some people coming from uh, worlds outside of the theater. And we were first looking about a name. Mm -hmm. And it's Éloi de Grandmont who found the name Théâtre du Nouveau Monde. And we said, yes, that's it. Because it's referring to a new world. It's, we, we are trying to create, to create something new, something unseen and unheard of. So that, 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 that's a good title. And we had a press conference and we said, here we are. And we will produce plays in Montreal. And we started with uh, Lavar because during many seasons we didn't have any uh, plays written by Quebecers. And many people uh, uh, took offense about that uh, toward us. And uh, the first production was a great success, mind you. Great success means that we were performing nine performances in Montreal and two in Quebec City. Wow. That was, that it. was it. Wow. And what, which, which theater in Montreal? Which building? We were, we were playing at the Jesus Hall, which was the basement to a church called Le Jesus, Gesù. Uh, in, in Italian, uh, but the French way of uh, pronouncing it was Jésus. So we were, we were there for from 51 to 57 or 58, I think. And then we moved to the Orpheum Theater, which doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. It's a shame because it was a lovely theater. And uh, then we moved from there to uh, La Place des Arts, a place called Le Théâtre uh, Le Port Royal. And then we had our own theatre, uh, Le Théâtre du Nouveau Monde, where <coughs> it is presently at the corner of St. Urban and St. Catherine. And what advice would you have for a young artist who said, uh, uh, Jean-Louis, I want to start a theatre, what should I do? <laughs> oh boy, dive dive and try to swim <laughs> and do it that's all no matter what will happen do it if you if you if you wish to start a company do it uh, but maybe the first thing i would uh, i would suggest and that we didn't do 
when we created the, the Teatro di Nuovo Monde because the field was so vast that we were considering that we had to uh, play different genres of theatre. But nowadays, I would suggest to someone who wished to create a company to have a program. What is my intention? What do I, what am I aiming at in creating a company? When we created Le Théâtre du Nouveau Monde, we were very egoistical, in fact. We did it because we loved theatre, and that's the only thing we knew to do. And uh, we, we didn't uh, ask questions about what kind of plays will we put on, uh, do we have an ideal, uh, no, we, we did it because we loved it. it, it it's, it's a way to start, but I think that nowadays you have to have a clear program. What do you wish to do with the theatre? Do you wish to... Uh, in, in a way, instruct the people? Do you wish to uh, make them upset? Or do you only wish to uh, uh, entertain them? Right. In my opinion, the first aim is entertaining, because uh, <laughs> if you... If you uh, if you yawn when you go at the production, it's not a good way of uh, receiving it. So you have to be entertaining. But second, you have to tell yourself, I wish that the spectators who are leaving the theatre are different from what they were when they came in. That's a very general way of speaking, but that's the way I see it. And I wish that even if it's unconscious, what they saw on stage upset them to the point that afterwards it will come back again on their mind and they will ask questions about the play, about the meaning of the play, about uh, what the story intends to bring uh, new to a contemporary public, etc., etc. That's the way I see it.